in the face of data showing the persistent pay gap between men and women. The Biden administration is launching new efforts to give more women a leg up in the workforce. It's a really exciting moment, um, I think, for us and for you know, families across the country. S.J. Glenn and Wendy Chun Hoon lead the Labor Department's Women's Bureau. The opportunity to influence this equation is actually right now. They say after Congress passed bills investing billions into infrastructure, manufacturing, and clean energy projects, they want to ensure women can snag those jobs too. To be able to move into a career track like that, which is higher paying, better benefits, opportunity to join a union. To do that, Chun Hoon says the Biden administration is pushing manufacturing companies to offer expansive child care programs because studies show access to affordable child care continues to be a barrier for women pursuing employment. So we've talked to women all across the country who have been in pre-apprenticeship programs or apprenticeship programs and are interested in careers in the trades. And uniformly, they'll say it is very hard to find non-standard hour child care. Labor statistics show female employment is back to pre-pandemic levels. But the unemployment rate for Black women is still consistently and persistently significantly higher um, than it is for white women. The Women's Bureau says by prioritizing child care, they hope this administration can bridge that gap. In Washington, Raquel Martin.